Okay, guys. So let's continue our Hitman 3 uh, gameplay. This is my first playthrough, and right now we are we're going to do the fifth mission, Argentina, Mendoza, Argentina. So let's watch the let's watch the uh, briefing first. found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. And let's see the uh, objective. Okay. Let's go with planning. Lockpick. Uh, I think I don't need gun and this uh, since this is our first playthrough everything is still locked uh, I do however think that we need uh, electronic key ha hacker I think we need this let's try this just in case Distraction, we can get anything. Poison, we can get from the field. But this and this, probably not. So, we're going to take this and this. And like always, we're going to play uh, casually. So, uh, let's do this. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. This is really beautiful, guys. Look at this. This reminds me of um, Hitman Blood Money Delgado, I think. Delgado Cartel Map. Let's stop to Diana now. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me. 
I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Hmm. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Okay, let's check it out. Time out of Fidel. Don't yet. Okay. First, let's see our target. Hmm. You know, sometimes. Uh, Sometimes I wonder um, <laughs> uh, the developer really make this game really details with this back story for a target that we're going to kill in two hours. I see. How about Tamara Fidel? Okay, do not end with Diana Burnwood. Okay, let's see. Is there anything that we can get here? No? Okay. Let's go. Everything's cool. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. Everything fine. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Yeah. Tina must be over the moon about John stepping down. She's been living alone here for what, six years? Everything's fine. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. I don't think we can go here. There's two people with guns. And Diana clearly 
give uh, for the seven invitation. That extra security. Hello. So let's take a look for a second. If we can, aha, the target. We found the target. How you been? Tamara Vidal. I'm here for the tourists. Ah, yeah, Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther, Burn was flying solo. I want all eyes on him. Let's see what she does. And Luther, pre-deploy the birds and key in on the party area. We're spread too thin. Too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, the state's chief winemaker. Well, this is a rare privilege. You and the Yates must be very close. Yes. About 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never mind. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. Hey there, big guy. arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. I'd see to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. private tour of the estate. Hmm. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I'll go you, Mason. You aren't telling me what I'm... Okay. Nothing quite spoils a party like you. Yeah. Inexplicably dropping dead. In fact, a couple of spots come to mind. On the tour after. Stand by. So you're not sure yet? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realise the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is it? It's a nice gesture, but if I'm going to be one of these heralds, you need to start letting me in on it. Okay. So who's this for? I'm more of a beer man myself, but if Yates wants to bring the heralds closer together in a modern thought, I just never framed an urban legend. Very post. Plus, he has good reason. I like it. Okay, let's see how we can get Corfo Black. So, how do you feel about her? How do you think? She and her friends have done a lot. Probably If you push it, does anybody know?
Oh my god, push will eliminate him. He cannot do that. Okay, let's see, let's see. We have to we have to get a blind spot. Without anybody. Let's oh. Can uh can right. we pull? No. She had all the pundits shaking in their boots a few years back. What was her party called again? Future Federation. It was a kind of. You should walk up straight. It's important to keep a proper upper body posture if you don't want to mess oh. up your bags. It is. Too many people. Cannot get a clear shot. Uh, not that I want to kill him. I mean, I cannot. There's not no place to hide his body. It's his problem. Can we? Uh, can we discuss ourselves as? Uh, okay. I'm gonna try something. Uh, I don't know. I think this is nobody here. Nobody see me. I hope nobody see me. Because I don't bring... Uh, let's see. Hey? Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Let's change these guys to waiter. Okay, got it. Now back to Corvo Black. Okay, this is too open, we cannot... We cannot get him here. Let's see if we can get him here. Everything clear. Come on, walk over here. Come on. Come on, walk over here. Come on, walk over here. Hmm? Okay, nice. What was that noise? Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, what a shock. Oh, God. Damn it. Well, at least I get the disguise. Oh, wait, nope. Okay. Okay, and now I get the disguise. Uh, wait, pick up, talk to reception. Hmm. 
I hope nobody find that, buddy. What are we doing here, Daddy? Wait, oh, nope. We cannot go there. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm kind of lost. Uh, where is the... This map is so big and confusing. <sighs> oh my god, this is embarrassing. I mean... Oh, okay, this is the... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Call to reception. Hello, and welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help you? Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right, Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. <laughs> Join the other guests. <laughs> well, Vidal is nothing. Uh, okay, I still don't get it. Where is? Still, talk about wisdom. Is there a letter here? To go down? Okay, okay, we get letter. Okay. The constant must have lost his mind. Burnwood was in league with Gray. She's responsible for killing how many? Nice. Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Yeah. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. At a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. And how are you today, sir? Hey, your partner. Can I come in? No. Oh, man. What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates socialite friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously, who takes another man's picking knife? I. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Okay, nobody see me, nobody see me. Nobody see me. <laughs> Nice. 
Wait, what? Acquire a grey picking knife. Just in case I need more. Uh, Our first three ripe. How do I know? How do I know grape that ready for harvest? Okay, I really don't understand this. How? I mean, I'm using grape knife, right? So, so how you do it? Come on, show me. Cannot jump there, so can't be it. little bit confused here our first three mile back I think this is it ah okay so you harvest here one Siempre si no tiene la menor idea de lo que está hablando para hacer la bandeja, la bandeja no se. Okay, got it. Okay, so uh, we bring the grapes and then... Now, what am I doing here? Uh, Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring them here. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. ¿Qué? ¿Quieres un beso? Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. 
seeds, brown, excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Every floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are right for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to contact. Will do. Um. Okay, we're back discussing ourselves as Corval Black. Check first. What is this? This is oh, okay. I grew up here. These majestic plains were my playground. And I was in the church for four decades. I served the law. Now I serve something. Ah, my fellow wine lover. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Vineda Gates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So, how do you yeah, like hey. Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on distilling every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack-of-all-trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. On the primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. Take care, so. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. Oh man, we cannot do this. So, this is what the little guy feels like. No, nope, all good. Looks like one for the man. Now, are there any more questions? Don't be shy. Oh! Damn! Oh! Uh, oh, I, I, I was wrong. Oh! Uh, I want to press him. 
I mean, I mean, I'm gonna press her. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, let's try again. Let's try something else. What can you tell me about this freezer? This is an industrial cold storage unit that could keep our excess grape stock to prevent decay. It easily reaches temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius. Trust me, you don't want to stay in here for long. No kidding. Hey, there's no cold on the inside. Seems like a pretty glaring safety omission if you ask me. Probably soundproof too. And good luck getting a phone signal. Such imaginations you have. But there really is no need to worry. Why? We haven't had an accident since Mrs. Yates was found over by a great picker. Any further questions? Ask away. Uh... No, 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 don't go to... Oh, man. Diana, why you're not distract him? Okay, let's try again another. I'm trying to find a place to kill him. I mean, to kill her. What can you tell me about this grape crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the steamed grapes into a thick pulp or must by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipeline. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? <laughs> You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. Waste of space if you ask me. Yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So if there's no further questions... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, finally! Oh my god! What this happened to your colleague? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Bentley. Let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. <sighs> so, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. No and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. <laughs> Yourself, Mr. Black. It's all very inspiring. Hey, I could see you retire to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates's fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security Looking room. Looking fine today, sir. Our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah. Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say, welcome aboard. 
Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up at the house. Just an honest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as Constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Okay, we got a new stories. Uh. Flowers, Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? Aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. The meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. Some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence? A calculated risk. Okay, we have to disguise as the sommelier, but... We have to go to the security room first. Five grand paladin? Your affection irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1945 grand paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Santino, 
But, no. If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful, I will not stand in his way. That is between him and his creator. How did he get his hands on his body? I hear the last of the 45 were sold to Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali for $600,000. Most expensive bottle ever sold. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a curious story. See, that bottle you refer to came from a case of 12, which were recovered from a sunken Carlisle shipping container that went down in the South China Sea during the final days of World War II. You know, of those 12, only five were raised intact. Al Ghazali bought one under a great media cover, while the others simply managed to get first pick. Ah, but you see, I was here when the bottle arrived, and the crate it arrived in bore a curious logo. Something called the Ark Society. Intriguing. Do you know what it means? Well, not a clue. And now, we will never know. No, oh, you don't get attached, Santino. For all fine things in life, are transient. Okay, now we have to do something about it. Wow. Turn off. Oh, damn it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Some someone noticed me. I hate this. There's always some... Come on, come on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I should... Oh my god, I, I, I just... I just remember I should have turned off the uh, fuse box first to turn off the light. Ah. Oh. You know, sometimes just too careless. Oof. Almost. What the hell is that guy doing? I mean, I 
should just push him instead. I need to disable the laser I need to disable the laser and Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, guys, we're in uh, damage control mode right now. This is what I should have done. Oh, man. Now I can work with that problem. Nine oh no. Nineteen forty two. Wait, what? Uh, wait, 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 he said, he said about, he said something about, uh, he said something about, <sighs> security room. He said something about the password 19 uh, World War World War 2 World War 2 I think World War 2 1939 What? This is embarrassing World War 2 World War 2 Nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five. Nice, sir. I present to you the nineteen forty five. Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting off. I'm gonna need to frisk you if you want to come through here. Oh, 
Oh, shh. Oh, this my. Like an accident. What a freaking mess. What the? Ah. Oh. That's not my plan. I don't. Ah. Oh. Okay, guys. I, I accidentally press the uh, fire alarm button. Uh, I didn't mean to. I was, I was going to close the door. Ah, oh, man, again, not no silent assassin. Say what? We're not coming this way unless I buy you down first. Ah, great. Okay, guys, this is an uh, accident, so I'm gonna load because this is an uh, accident. This, this is not supposed to happen. I accidentally press the uh, I accidentally press the Y button, so I have to reload because that's not supposed to happen. This is me accidentally pressing the wrong button. I present to you the 1945. Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Obviously, we cannot bring guns. So. So I need to conceal it here. Uh, nope. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're I mean, on alert from all those big shots the ego's getting off. Okay, so I get. Oh no, this have to be concealed too. Okay, let's check again. Okay, no, no dangerous item. Let's go. Let's do this. If you want to come through, I'm gonna need to pat you down. I better not find something on you. You don't want to know what's gonna happen if I do. Okay, man. Vamos. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. We just found another bug, guys. He's, he's supposed to talk to us. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. Can we poison it? I, I don't remember. I have poison. always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system, effectively. Ah, ladies oh, and flowers. gentlemen. Mr. The flowers, ball. our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. 
The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, I agree. Yes. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What did she say? You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together, we can make it work. But you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I yes. agree. I'm in. Yes. Yes. I agree. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Oof. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. Yeah. A toast then. In her honor. Savor the taste because you never will again. And let me know. Oh. oh, no, 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 danger, danger. Valentina, it worked. Yes, they all back. The Cordesar will dispose of her. Corvo is staging a crime scene. But all the heralds were. Oh, man. Excuse me?
Come on, we only have uh, eight minutes. What the hell are you doing? It's not a playground. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I need to find something. Sniper rival. Atman, right? Okay. You know what, boss? Maybe you shouldn't be talking to me like that. Yeah, that's what I should have said. I should have just told him right in his face. I should have just, I should have spat in his face. Okay, I only have six minutes left. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, crap. Nah, wrong button. Poison. Took you long enough. Quick, clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. floor guards oh man To Diana. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Ah, okay, this is one of the thing I had. Why, why, why Hitman game? Why I have to make it online only?
Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. No, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy shit! <sighs> Turns out this woman will be your downfall. Oh, what are you doing, you asshole? Man, you copy? Don't just stand there! Shoot her! If it's any consolation, Don, your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick by brick. Finish it. <coughs> Such a good boy. Oh. Okay, uh... Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. Okay, I... When did... you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately. I'm not planning to... I'm not planning to kill the guy. Uh, again, accidental. Discuss yourself properly. Oh, yes. There's blood everywhere. Forty-seven signature shoot with roof. Uh, I think we car keys, and I think we have to drop this. can get out from here Okay. 
It seems I cannot go down. Clearly cannot go through here, so I don't know. You probably keep something weird inside. Weird? Like how? All my clients. Have kept something weird in Don't you remember? Especially it was a huge scandal. Oh, crap. Whatever. I doesn't ring a bell. Hey, hey, you can always try and guess the oh, passcode. Yeah. It's never An hard. Usually it's the firstborn's birthday or the year they were married. And since the eights don't have any kids, that simple, huh? Only one way to find out. Oh, shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Right up. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, asshole. Hey, hey. I need you. What are you, lost or something? Oh. Oh. Ah. How I mean how 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 do we you escape from that Ah I hate this And the loading is so is so long. I mean, oh, I almost got it without getting killed. So that's twice getting killed, guys. Damn. Let's see, let's check our map first. Let's try again. Fill a living room.
Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those whatever days. Doesn't ring a bell. Still, Mrs. Yates is a career diplomat. Oh, yes. An international superstar. Okay, I think we can hide using the uh, the flower. Yes, we can use the flower. international superstar. She was the Argentinian ambassador to Norway, then Israel, and then China. Oh? But her office was involved in some sort of back channel deal. Area. Hold it, hold it, don't move! Now, you're gonna follow me nice and easy. Stay calm and you'll be fine. Understood? Oh, okay, he's escorting me. So we don't have to fight. Yeah, just keep walking, just keep walking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Así me gusta. I knew you weren't really a troublemaker. really stands out. Miguel and I were invited to the wedding of Esteban I knew you were obedient. Head of the Moreno Cartel. Naturally. Yeah, just keep walking, just keep walking. All right, man, stay out of trouble. CEO of Kronstadt. I dare say congratulations are in order. Sir. Let's dance, Diana. Let's dance, Diana. That's, that's my... My voice impression of David Batson, the voice actor of 47. This is my impression. Diana, let's dance. 47? Diana Burnwood. Diana, let's dance. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. I got two deaths. Uh, one is because I accidentally pressed the wrong button. And the second. <sighs> Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. to star well that's it guys uh, several thing happens
Anyway, uh, let's hit next. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Okay, so that's it guys. Let's cut it for now uh, and we're going to continue on the next episode for the later story, The Untouchable. But for now, this is it. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. I hope you're happy and see you on the next video. Thank you.